People are saying that LeBron James is not patriotic enough to carry the Olympic flag for America. Doesn't have to do with his stance on China or what. Let's talk about it. I'll tell you what, he has been compromised because he wants to sell his sneakers to all those little yellow fellas dribbling basketballs over back east. Uh, We got to talk about it right now. A lot of people, and and I got to say this, mostly white guys have been criticizing LeBron for being chosen as the Olympic flag bearer at the Paris Olympics. Right, so we're going to discuss in this video, it's going to be a long one, discussing what does it mean to be patriotic when you're a famous athlete? Uh, Has LeBron been patriotic in the past? Uh, What is the real reason why a lot of, namely, mostly, from what we can see, Caucasian men are really mad at LeBron for getting the honors of carrying the Olympic flag in in the Paris Olympics coming up. So we got to talk about it, David. This is multifaceted, man. Mark Ziegler, as flag bearers go, United States can do better than LeBron James. Uh, In his one, he tried to say it was because LeBron is a billionaire, not because LeBron's stance was on China. That came out more in social media. Okay, so this Ziegler Ziegler guy didn't point out about, uh, you know, uh, Braun protesting peacefully about, you know, black rights or black lives or or the China stuff. But that, of course, Andrew, came out in the social media social media comments where people are basically not journalists that need to maintain a career. Right, right. So, you know, for me, I'm a big LeBron fan, although I do criticize LeBron. I am critical of LeBron. I'm a big LeBron fan. Right. He's a little bit of a diva, I guess you could say. That's fair to say. I I call him an imperfect goat. He's an imperfect goat, guys. Uh, While MJ might be viewed as the perfect goat. I get it. But let me tell you this. So I I looked into the patriotic things that LeBron James has done. And I just want to put these out there in the beginning because we're going to be criticizing LeBron later in this video. But let, let me just point out the patriotic things that LeBron has done. LeBron James pays his taxes. And he can't avoid them because he gets paid by the NBA, which is a corporation. And as you know, you can't really avoid those taxes. So he pays millions of dollars in taxes each year. Is that patriotic? I think so. Right. Unlike politicians, obviously Trump is famous for hiding his taxes. Even Bill Clinton got accused of hiding taxes. Yes, a lot of uh, politicians avoid taxes. Uh, uh, LeBron James has not committed any crimes. He has not been charged or allegedly accused of any crimes. Number two, he is uh, three. He's a father to his children, a husband to his wife. He has maintained the family structure. That is a great American in my opinion, okay? And he's a black guy that fathers his children. Great. Uh, he's helped the NBA make billions of dollars, been a relatively clean guy. He built a school in Akron, Ohio for underprivileged kids. He protested peacefully, Okay, and protesting is a very American thing to do, by the way. Uh, He has not spoken ill of the American military. In fact, he's taken pictures with the American military and uh, visited them. And uh, but I think the biggest crime against him, David, is that he's not a white athlete. That's my opinion. Yes. And he has a lot of opinions that I guess more right leaning white males in America would really disagree with. Right. 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 And and there you can draw some parallels. Obviously, there's differences as well uh, with Muhammad Ali's protest of the Vietnam War that actually got him jailed. Right. But but again, LeBron has not been jailed for his protests, his tweets, obviously during like the whole BLM hype, kind of being critical of America and stuff like that. But anyways, David, what do you think is the real reason? Is it because LeBron doesn't hate China enough? Is that why? Well, let's just take a look at it. He, they, these are all the comments from the internet. He hates the USA so much, I don't get it. Why does he get to carry the American flag? Why do you let a man who hates Americans carry the American flag? Why doesn't he carry the flag for China? <laughs> um, of so, course, uh, a lot of people popped up these memes, Lamao Ledong, uh, which uh, I'm not gonna lie, this, this is a funny meme. These memes are funny because LeBron's hairline was also uh, going back a few years ago. But th- these are funny. But but it, it, I feel like it's blown out of proportion that he doesn't love China. He doesn't defend China. He's just, he just has stayed quiet on the China issues. Right, as actually all athletes have almost. Dude, as every athlete has. Is there an athlete out there, a famous American athlete from the NBA, MLB, and NFL that has spoken up against China that even talks about China. Listen, the whole China thing, we understand it's a political thing. It's a geopolitical thing, but I don't think any athletes talk about China. Right, right, right. And I've got to be clear here because I've actually pulled up receipts, Andrew. Everybody who liked the anti-LeBron comments about him being a China merchant or him hating America for a variety of reasons, I'm not going to lie. I looked through it. 
almost 95% of them were white guys. Right. They appeared to be white guys based on the profiles and the names that we have. Right. I mean, here is the proof. I'm just saying. Right. Guys, you, listen, you guys can do your own. Like, you can look this up yourself. Wait. So these are the comments. Let's pop them up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they, like, I, no, I mean let me just show you some of the names. Nick Borgman, Dylan Kelly, Kayla Butler, Todd Atkinson, Eric Smith, Ryan Pinon, <laughs> whoa, TJ wait, wait, Blankenship, <laughs> Trey Waller. Trey Waller. I mean, oh, dude, shoot. I could bring up a lot more stuff. By the way, guys, uh, yeah, you could say, oh, okay, well, yeah. I mean, I feel like whoever likes an Instagram comment, it is evidence of something, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah. I mean, it seems like mostly Caucasian American males right. or Caucasian men in the West that are really bashing LeBron for being a China merchant, even though other than LeBron being a Nike athlete and Nike making stuff in China, LeBron is not obligated to say anything about China. Why would he? Is right, he, he is not obligated to, I guess, support like uh, um, certain wings of like American foreign policy. Right? Yeah, and, I don't and, know. And same with the, obviously he, he um, took a knee for BLM. Right. And some people were really mad about that. Sure, obviously, yeah. Listen, they, he took a knee for the national anthem and a lot of athletes did as well. But if you're going to call him like the China thing, I, I actually, dude, that makes no sense to me. So, so here's some quotes from Muhammad Ali. I got nothing against no Viet Cong, no Vietnamese ever called me a racial epithet, obviously referring to the N word. And this was like, basically this leads me to my list of like seven thoughts about basically seeing that everybody going against LeBron was white. Okay, so, so you're saying because everybody who's criticizing LeBron openly is white and has been even a white woman, right? The white lady who told him to shut up and dribble. Yes. Right? Uh, this is what you came up with. Right. These are the thoughts that you need to keep in mind when you, when you hear about LeBron being a China lover. All right. Point number one, to some white people... I'm not saying all white people, duh, of course not. There's good saying, white people. Yes. <laughs> they are the only true Americans in their own mind. They get to define, like, who's the most American. Right, right. And I think that, here's the thing. I, I don't, first of all, I, I don't agree with them, but I don't blame them either. I, guess, I mean, I guess I could see how they arrived at that conclusion because even some foreigners who grow up in other countries, they grow up watching shows like Friends. Friends is globally the most popular sitcom globally disseminated sitcom in history that show was about 95 percent white despite being set in new york city right so i'm saying that like i guess I'll, i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of these white people that feel like lebron is less american than them for standing up for blm and not going against china publicly like they feel like well i i get to def i'm against both of those things so you're less american than me so you can't hold the flag at the olympics right um point number two like, what is a true patriot? Like, like, Andrew, you just listed off. LeBron's hanging out with all the soldiers. He's never spoken bad about the American military. But he might not be supporting, like, the most right-wing, like, geopolitical policies. Yeah. No, listen, I don't think you have to be a MAGA supporter to be American. That's crazy, you know? I do think there is a baseline level of things. So, right? I mean, being a uh, patriotic is subjective, but there is some baseline things. I think you have to pay taxes. I think you have to, you know, not commit a bunch of destructive crimes, you know, be not be corrupt, you know, when you're a person in power. I do think that, you know, you should value speaking English and that LeBron speaks English, you know? So I'm just like, but, but it's very patriotic to be critical of America, actually. Like it is, that's something that's in a, that's one of the great things about America that, can I remind you, the right wing is always pointing out like, hey, freedom of speech, we need to have freedom of speech. One of the things about freedom of speech, the most beautiful thing is that you get to protest America peacefully, right. peacefully protest. Well, you get to point out what you would like to highlight and yeah. spotlight yeah. Uh, areas of opportunity, flaws. And you know, the interesting thing is Muhammad Ali was crucified by the American right wing at that time, but everybody looking back on it is like, man, that whole Vietnam situation got messed up. Right. You know, but obviously at the time, like I said, there was competing factions in America too. I'm not saying all white people were against Muhammad Ali. Of course, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the people who seem to be the most against LeBron or the most against Muhammad Ali at mm -hmm. that time. Point number three, Andrew. Minorities will always have a more nuanced, complicated, layered view on being proud of being an American. Yeah, because listen, they're immigrants from a different place. So they're always going to bring over another culture or immigrants should i say also minorities just minorities different colored people they gonna have a slightly different relationship with america it should still be a 
positive relationship. It should still mutually support each other. America should support uh, minorities and the minorities support America, work jobs, pay taxes. Like I said, don't commit too many crimes, blah, blah, blah. Like, I think that that makes sense, right? Because there's, that's what makes America what it is. Now, I think just what people are seeing is that there is so many more immigrants that maybe than the traditional uh, racist white people would have imagined. Right. They're like, or, 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 the, or the balance is not where they yeah. would want it to be. They're right? like, hold up. I know America is an immigrant country. I heard that throughout my life, but there's a bit too many immigrants now. Right. Can we have frozen it at 85, 15? Why do the number keep, you know, dwindling <laughs> and, down? And I am glad we freed the African-Americans, but I'm just saying, I thought that they... They're a little too cocky now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Point number four. To me, being a good American is also taking care of your neighborhood, picking uh, up 100% of your own trash, and even, like, improving your neighborhood locally. Yeah. yeah. Like, and, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to, like, wish ill on other countries or be fully against global capitalism. Because, obviously, there was a time in the world where America almost held like all the wealth and all the other countries had very, very uh, little of the rest of the world's wealth. David, don't you understand that the most patriotic thing you can do is hate every country, not America? America is number one. As long as you love America in your heart as the mo best country, nothing else you do matters. Right. Point number five, Andrew, what if you wanted, like, let's say, for example, if you had to pick be between being a domestic uh, security or stabilizer person, um, national service, or being a cop versus being a foreign soldier mm. that's operating on foreign soil, does that make you less American? Because you don't want to go to another country and, like, uh, you know, enact a military action. Right, you're saying you'd rather be a police officer in your uh, community rather than be a soldier that has to get shipped off to go fight some people that you don't know in a different Yeah, more world. than likely on their soil, yes, right? Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, okay, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, does that, does in the comments below, does that make David uh, less patriotic for wanting that, huh? Uh, point number six, um, on the right side right now politically, I do think, obviously, this is not everybody, but there is a decent portion of people that are more motivated, I guess, by white dispossession or replacement theory or some light, light version of that. Yeah, it seems like there's a sizable portion on the right side, mostly, that is fueled and, like, uh, ignited by this idea of replacement theory or dispossession of America, meaning that white people are losing America, right? And that's why a lot of the people are, like, there's talk about like ah oh, turning the turn back, the clock back right turn back the clock and then make it more like the 80s or 90s that's when that's when uh, the 70s or white people were still at the top and everybody wanted to be white I get it that time worked but I think that it's a new world now right 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 and I think that it's not that we don't need to make tweaks or we don't need to embrace like the polar opposite either but. Obviously, that is something that's going on on the right right mm. now. And you could say, okay, maybe it's elite politicians just using that group of like, quote unquote, more old school people as a, as a populist, you know, electoral college, like voting tool, or they are legitimately pandering to it and, uh, you know, align with that on an ideological level. I think like this too, does that mean like if we, if we were to like embrace i guess like the european heritage of america or the english heritage right does that mean that everybody just speaks english or has protestant work ethic ideals you know for example what about just not having siestas or uh they call you know like the the french in europe andrew they take a lot of breaks after lunch mm. i feel like that would be un-american for america to shut down after lunch Okay. Similar to Latin America or even right. France. So there are certain European things that you think if America adopted would be anti-America in a way. Um, anti-American. Yeah, because America is about work. Yeah. The Protestant work ethic, yeah, right? I mean, I'm not saying everybody has to be Protestant, but the work ethic of just working really uh -huh. hard throughout the day, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, I just think like, which white people are you going to give it back to? If, you're, if, if people have that image in their mind, like, are they thinking about somebody centrist like a Bloomberg or like, you know, you know, I feel like a lot of minorities like Matthew McConaughey, obviously he's not a politician, I mean, but I'm just saying I, it seems like a, people like him. Yeah. And point number seven, Andrew, I don't think that people hate white people or white systems, but they just want them to be empathetic. And it's not necessarily, I think people know that white people did run some good systems. Uh -huh. 
it's not like they hate white systems because they were running well, but they just didn't want to be ranked as like 1.5 or second or third class citizens within that structure. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't, I don't think, like, for example, I don't think LeBron hates white people. We grew up in Akron, Ohio, bro. Like, there's a lot of white people. There was always white people in his life. Uh, he's always, a private Catholic He's school, always right? played very well with white people. Despite the critical tweets of America, he's actually, like, been really nice and, like, Never clowned on white people. Never really like embarrassed any white dudes. Like he he has championed black issues for sure, yes. and that sometimes can feel at odds with white people. Yes, yes, for sure. You know, so I think, but but I don't think a lot of people hate white people. I think people just want the people in power to be more empathetic and take action in that. And uh, I think that's what most people feel. Right, right, right. So anyway. I just wanted to address the fact that a lot of people were criticizing LeBron for being the Olympic flag bearer. By now, by the time you guys have seen this video, it's already happened. But it's just interesting because I think it just shows a rift that is going on in America right now between maybe people who don't want uh, things to change. They want to dial the clock back. There's a new way, but obviously people got to talk about what we got to come together and define what's the new way going to be yeah, like. And also, guys, I mean, the Olympics... Although it has been a proxy for making political statements, Olympics is not war. So it's like if you have LeBron representing, he is a globally famous athlete. Like everybody in the world is going to tune in and going to want to see LeBron hold the flag. Like, and if you're talking about even from a rating standpoint, like viewership standpoint, the Olympics want LeBron to carry the flag because that's going to bring the most views rather than a more obscure athlete, to be honest. There's a lot of athletes that have carried the flag that are great athletes, but like they don't have name recognition. People don't know them. Right. So I'm saying like, Le like if you're thinking about it from a global standpoint, the Olympics, which is a global commission, they want people like LeBron to hold the flag proudly. Right. And you know, sure, LeBron has been uh, uh, critical of America, but I think if you look at the list of patriotic things or what you really think makes someone patriotic, what really makes them patriotic, as in, like, being a good American citizen and taking care and, like, you know, yeah. Speaking your mind is actually part of being American, by the way. Right. And not only that, there's a whole capitalistic uh, aspect to Nike with the Olympics and right. just even, like, the capitalism of somebody like LeBron or the capitalism of somebody like Trump, that's almost like the most American thing yeah. is being capitalistic. Yeah, yeah. And like, God, you want to call LeBron a selfish athlete. I mean, there's a lot of selfish politicians and you know who they are. You know, I'm not trying to say it's one for one, but I'm just saying, come on, like, let's be honest. Being selfish is not the worst American quality. Well, it is. It seems like it is an American quality oh. to an extent. Or, Whoa, or, all right. Amen. So you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think. By the way, check out Smala Sauce at smalasauce.com or on Amazon, guys. This is an American-made product born in the USA. A lot Smala of Americans sauce. getting paid off Smala. Yeah, guys, American citizens getting paid off of Smala Sauce, all right? So you go get you some Smala Sauce, put that on some... You know, some of your tasty food is going to spice it up. Give it a zing. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.